हेलो फ्रेंड वेलकम टू माय इंजीनियरिंग हब दिस इज नरेटर चीफ इंजीनियर रवि गुप्ता सो टुडे वी गोना टॉक अबाउट जीपी रेटिंग दिस वीडियो इज बेसिकली फॉर ऑल द क्रू हु वांट टू जॉइन द शिप दिस इज अ कंप्लीट वीडियो इन व्हिच आई विल टॉक अबाउट व्हाट आर द डिपार्टमेंट इन द जीपी रेटिंग व्हेन यू जॉइन द शिप व्हाट विल बी योर जॉब्स एंड what are the salary in your jobs and after that i will recommend the colleges which you should join if you want to get a good placement and you don't want to fall in a agent fraud so please watch the video till end i guarantee after watching the video you will have a clear concept about the gp rating and what to do with the gp rating whether to do or not to do so let's start the today video so basically first question is that what is a gp rating so gp rating stand for general purpose rating so it is basically a 6 month course which has been done by several maritime institute around india but after doing a gp rating you get into three department one is engine deck and saloon department so this gp rating is be 6 month course which is done with a cost of around 2.5 3.5 lakhs and after doing the course when you are going on board ship you go to a three department engine deck or saloon any one of the three so basically in engine department if you go you are mainly responsible for the operation and the maintenance of a ship along with the engineers and after that you also have to follow the watch keeping and do the cleaning of the ship engine space if you are going in a deck department you will be helping the officer with the navigation mooring operation and also cleaning and also chipping and painting on deck maintenance if you are going to saloon department you will be helping the chief cook you will be becoming a chief cook and you have to basically help in catering housekeeping and also in food serving and food making so these are the basically three department and that are the scope of your job so now let's talk about what will be your salary structure so salary structure i will tell you in the next slide first let's talk about what are the entry level position so in engine department if you want to enter you will enter as a trainee wiper and after that you will finally promoted to the oiler or motorman and if you do regularly examination means if you are very much interested need to learn the in, need to learn then you can give examination and you can ultimately become chief engineer followed by a series of exam for engine cadet for fourth engineer then second engineer and then chief engineer same like that in deck deck department if you go you go as a training os then you will become os after that you will become ab and then if you give a series of exam you can become master if you are going in saloon department you will be going as a junior steward and then you will be promoted to chief cook if you do the chief cook examination so these are the entry level position of the merchant navy now let's talk about each department so first department is the deck department so if you are going in a deck department you are going as a trainee os okay trainee ordinary seaman so your salary will be around 400 to 600 dollar and you will be given job of a maintenance and cleaning basically means your job will be to do chipping and painting of a ship cleaning of a ship maintenance of the ship that painting of a ship that will be your job and your salary will be around 400 to 600 dollar now if you are going as a trainee ordinary seaman you will be promoted to ordinary seaman after doing two contract each contract will be of around 9 months and after two contract you will be promoted as a ordinary seaman in ordinary seaman your job scope will be little increase and after doing one or two more contract you become as a able body seaman when you become a able body seaman you will perform mooring operation handling the mooring operation you will perform the lookout duty you will have a navigation duty and you will also be doing the maintenance so when you become able body seaman you will be helping captains and the officer during the maneuvering operation for as a helmsman basically you will be helping them to navigate the ship by taking the steering control manually in a close constant channel after that when the ship will be alongside 
you will be helping them for along with the officer for taking the ship alongside with the mooring operation you will be helping them in the mooring operation so these are will be your job scope in a able body seaman now if there are three able body seamen and two ordinary seamen in that case there will be one portion among the ab the his salary will be much more 100 or 200 more than the able body seaman because he will be the in charge of supervising the job means basically he will take the job from the chief officer and he will distribute the job and carry out the job and after the each day he will report the job to the chief officer how much job is finished so the portion work is to supervise the deck crew and to ensure that proper maintenance of deck is been carried out the salary will be around 1300 to 1500 or 1800 dollar in able body seamen you are getting around 800 to 1200 dollar the salary which i am talking here is basically of the international companies which are providing this salary the if you are sailing in a coastal vessels then your salary may be less now if you talk about engine department in engine department you will enter as a trainee wiper your first job as a trainee wiper will be doing the cleaning of the engine space and removing chipping painting and all that in a trainee wiper you will be in a day work and your salary will be around 400 to 600 dollar now if you do two contract you will become from trainee wiper to wiper again you do one and two contract you will be promoted to a oiler or motorman when you become a motorman your job scope increase you become basically in charge of watch keeping you have to take engine room round you have to check all the engine uh, all the uh, you have to take whole engine round and you have to check all the parameter of the engine you have to assist engineers when they were doing their maintenance you have to help them in the maneuvering operation so your job scope will increase your salary will be at starting when you are doing a training wiper is 400 600 when you become wiper it will be from 600 to 800 when you become oiler your salary will be from 900 to 1300 now if you have done rti course if you have done RTI course then your salary may get increased around 1300 to 1800 because you will be doing repair and maintenance job and fabrication job as welding now so let's friend let's talk about saloon department so basically in saloon department your job will be first as a trainee steward in trainee steward you have to basically clean the room of the officers along with that you have to help assist the chief cook in cutting and also you have to do the serving to the officers in their dinner lunch and breakfast your salary range will be around 300 to 500 dollars and after that you have to give exam and you have will be promoted to the chief cook in chief cook you will be responsible for all the meals for the crew and officer you have to manage the food storage and you have to ensure that the galley is well stocked and along with that you have your very responsible job that the meal prepared should be good and the salary is around 900 to 1300 dollar if you are going in a passenger ship in a cruise ship you will be given a role of a chief steward in which you have to manage the entire catering team including cooking and steward and oversee the food and hygienic standard and the salary will range around 12 to fifteen hundred dollar so basically when you are chief cook you have to make sure that the whole food is good and along with that you have a your sufficient amount of food before selling so that there is no shortage of food and whenever the food is consumed it should be consumed in such a way that it does not go on waste so all this is the responsibility of a chief cook the steward responsibility is to ensure that the galley is well clean after that the mess room is properly clean the officer cabin space is properly clean all that is of the job of a steward so as you can see now all the three department the job prospectus is very much responsible so as i have told you before that if you are doing a good job you can be promoted to a chief engineer rank from engine department you can be promoted to a master rank from the department you can be promoted to a 
स्टूअर्ट और चीफ कुक रैंक फ्रॉम अ टेनिस स्टूअर्ट और जूनियर स्टूअर्ट सो ऑल दिस इज पॉसिबल आफ्टर सीरीज ऑफ एग्जामिनेशन एंड हार्ड वर्क एंड सिंसियरिटी सो दीज आर थिंग इन मर्चेंट नेवी जी पी रेटिंग नाउ यू वॉन्ट टू बिकम चीफ इंजीनियर और यू वॉन्ट टू बिकम मास्टर यू हैव टू मेक श्योर दैट यू आर वेरी मच एग्रेसिव इन हार्ड वर्किंग इन सिंसियरिटी एंड इन योर जॉब एंड इन इन एग्जामिनेशन नाउ एडुकेशन एंड ट्रेनिंग वी टॉक अबाउट बेसिकली इन जी पी रेटिंग यू हैव डू अ सिक्स मंथ कोर्स फ्रॉम अ कॉलेज द कॉलेज विच आई रिकमेंड इज बेसिकली फर्स्ट इज द ग्रेटर ईस्टर्न इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ मेरी टाइम स्टडीज इट इज अटेड इन लोनावला महाराष्ट्र एंड द एलिजिबिलिटी क्राइटेरिया ऑफ दिस कॉलेज इज स्लाइटली डिफरेंट दैन द अदर जी पी रेटिंग कॉलेज दिस कॉलेज हैज गॉट अ गुड रेपुटेशन ऑफ हैविंग प्लेसमेंट एंड इट इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर इज वेरी वेल गुड द कोर्स फीस ऑफ दिस कॉलेज इज अराउंड फोर पॉइंट फाइव लैक्स एंड The requirement is slightly different. The first requirement is that the age should be from 17.5 to 25 years, and it should be from a ITI background. The boy should be from ITI background of doing two year in fitter or in automobiles, or three year diploma, and he should have minimum 40 percent in English, and he should be medically fit. He should have no color blindness. The course fee is 4.5 lakh. But about this college, one more thing good is that you will get a education loan because they will provide you a sponsorship letter. The second college I recommend is the T S Rahman. In T S Rahman, the age criteria is same, seventeen point five to twenty five years. But here you don't require any I T I training. You only require ten pass with forty percent, and you need minimum forty percent in English. It means that if you have You should have at least forty percent aggregate. Means if you have science, math, after that arts or sociology, Hindi, whatever, combining all subject, you should have at least forty percent. Means if you have suppose thirty eight in Hindi, forty in math, or fifty in English, and sixty in science. In if aggregate is coming forty percent, you can do. But apart from that, you should have at least forty percent in English also, and apart from that also, you you must take an examination for discipline doctor to ensure that you are medically fit. The course fees is less, two point three to two point five lakh. The third college is the Nusi Maritime Academy. In Nusi Maritime Academy, the eligibility criteria is seventeen point five to twenty five year, and the you should be Pass tenth standard with forty percent aggregate and you should have forty percent English and the course is around two lakh. So this is TTS Rahman, which I recommend second college, and this is Nusi Maritime. So these three colleges I recommend because these three colleges have a good placement record. So after doing the course, you have a high chance of getting placed. And if you do from these colleges, you Will get placed and you will not fall in a trap of a bad agent who will take money from you and even not giving you job. And if they give you job, they will place you in bad shape, which pay very less, and you will feel stuck in this line. Now, why you need to choose merchant navy? Somebody asks you this question in GP rating qualification. We are going. They will ask you this question: Why you want to go to do merchant navy? So you should give the answer in such a way. That merchant navy I want to join because it's a high demand industry and it required qualified personnel. Along with that, the job opportunity will never get end. And along with that, ninety percent of the cargo, ninety percent of the cargo which has been shifted from world from one place to another is done by the merchant navy guys. It has got a job stability. It has a long term career employment and it is have a good salary and competitiveness. Along with that, it provides international exposure, which give you variable experience. Now, what are the key takeaway from this? So, basically, first is that it has got a diverse department, engine, deck, and saloon, which you can choose. There is a well structured progression. It means that from any department, you can, if you do work hard, very hard, you can promote to chief engineer or captain rank. 
or chief cook or chief steward and it has a promising career prospect so friend in today video i have told you what are the advantage of doing gp rating and from where do the gp rating along with that i have told you what are all the department in the gp rating if you still got doubt then please watch my short and if you still got doubt then please do comment in the comment section you will find the link of a short in the description box please do watch that also thank you friend have a good day